I was lightning before the thunder. Thunder, 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 thunder. Hello, guys, and welcome back to my channel. If you're new to my channel, welcome. My name is Bruzine, or like my YouTube channel says, it's Bruzy, short for Bruzine. So today I'm going to do something different and today I'm going to do a question and answer collaboration with a Canadian girl named Sean Marie. I will leave her details down below for you guys to go check out her amazing YouTube channel as well as well as all her social media links and she will also be doing a question and answer YouTube video so you guys should definitely go check out her channel. She gave me a list of questions and I'm going to answer that question truthfully. So if you like this video give it a thumbs up and don't forget to hit the subscribe button to stay up to date with my latest videos. So let's get this video rolling and start getting those questions answered from Sean Marie. So let's go straight to the question and answer video. Do you have any advice to those who would like to start a YouTube channel? Well, I wish somebody gave me advice when I first started. If you want to start a channel, don't be afraid. Don't care what other people will think about you. Just be yourself and have fun because YouTube is so much fun, guys. I really recommend starting a channel if you want to. Yes, you're going to feel awkward most of the times. I still feel awkward when I talk to myself on the camera. Um, you're going to have or you're going to get dislikes from people on your YouTube videos don't care about that just do you girl or boy and yes just have fun when you start your youtube channel you don't need expensive equipment to start a youtube channel tip number two i recommend that you have wi-fi at home or internet so you can upload regularly and not use your data on your phone tip number three you have to be consistent in youtube you can't just post a video today and then decide you're going to post another video in like two months it doesn't work that way on youtube the more you give to youtube the more you will get back from youtube tip number four um you should have a background like i'm using a wall as my background a white wall people usually don't like when you have like weird stuff in the background like a towel or you can see the bathroom or dishes or whatever so make sure you have a clear background if you don't have like the fancy stuff like the youtubers have like the glitter backdrops or whatever you can just use what I have a nice clear pink black white wall whatever so that is my tip number four the background music make sure when you do your background music you have royalty free music as when you use songs like Chris Brown Rihanna whatever YouTube might copyright you and they will take your video down. Another tip I would say have nice catching thumbnails because people usually click on creative thumbnails so be creative when it comes to your thumbnail and if you don't know what a thumbnail is a thumbnail is the preview picture of your youtube video so that is basically my advice for someone who would like to start a youtube channel me myself i'm still a newbie so i'm also just starting out but that is my advice if you would like to start a youtube channel so question number two is what equipment and editing tools I use to form my videos. So like I said in the previous question, you don't need to have expensive equipment. You don't need the world's best camera or the world's best editing tools. If you want to start a YouTube channel, use what you have. At the moment, I'm using my cell phone or smartphone to form my videos. I'm using the Galaxy S6 from Samsung. 
I use the back end of the smartphone because that is where the high, do you say high definition quality of the camera comes out. If you want to use your front camera, that's also fine, but the quality might not be so good and it's important to have high quality videos on YouTube as well. It will also be weird because you won't be able to see yourself when you fall. So what I usually do is I put a mirror in front of my smartphone so I can see that the direction is all perfecto and so on. So yes, so I use my smartphone to film. I use natural light for lighting. So I will sit in front of a window and I will also switch on the bedroom or the kitchen or the light wherever I will be sitting. So that is how I film my videos. Oh yes, um, I use a app called Open Camera on my phone in which I record my videos so you go to play store on android phone and you download the app open camera it's an amazing app guys you can zoom in zoom out you can change the lighting of the video you can change there's a lot of settings you can use and it's really 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 easy to use so i use that app to film my videos then on to editing, I use Kind Master for editing my videos, it's also super easy to use. However, with Kind Master, you have to pay a monthly subscription. In South Africa, it's like 30 Rand a month, I'm not sure how much it will be in dollars, but here is 30 Rand a month. If you don't want to pay the subscription every month, then unfortunately you will have a watermark on your videos which I think it's not a good way to have YouTube videos on with the watermark unless you feel comfortable with it. I didn't so I pay the 30 rand every month. And with the 30 rand every month you also get cool features which you can download from the app. That is the equipment and tools and editing I use for my videos. I do everything on my cell phone. I film, I edit and I upload to YouTube. Don't need expensive equipment to start YouTube. So what are you waiting for? Start making your first video and let me know how it went. Question number three. What goals do I have for my channel? Well, since I'm a newbie YouTuber, I only got like 80 subscribers at the moment, which is pretty good because I started like a month ago or less than a month. On the 24th of August 2017, it will be one month that I have my own channel. So I would say 80 subscribers in three weeks is pretty good. But like long term goals, I would like, I would love to have like 300, 400 subscribers at the end of the year. This is a hobby for me guys. I have a real job. Um, I'm a teacher, educator. So I would love to change my hobby perhaps into a full time career, which is like long, long, long term. I'm just enjoying making YouTube videos in my free time because it's so much fun and it keeps me busy. Makeup is my passion. I found a passion for it and I'm pursuing it. And like I said, I don't care what people think and I'm just doing me. So yeah, that is basically my goal for my channel, for it to expand and grow and network with other YouTubers, doing awesome collaborations like I did to, um, with Sean Marie. And to get, yes, and just to show you guys love and thank you for the support and everything. So question number four, if I could go back in time and change something, what would it be? There's quite a lot that I would change, like really think about when you buy your first car and not just go in and buy a car because you suddenly get a salary and yes, so if I could go back in time, I would really take my time and choose the right car because I bought my first car in 2013. I only had the car less than a year and I didn't like the car and I bought a new car. So that is one mistake. I would try to go back and redo it. Another one is to 
choose your subjects carefully guys if you are still in school because if I could go back I wouldn't choose the subjects I did I actually wanted to become a vet how you say vegetarian vet. yes working with animals and if I could go back your vet working with animals I love animals birds so that is another thing I would like to change. For the that, I think my life is pretty good at the moment and um, yeah. So on to the last question. So her last question is... Well, for you guys that don't know, I am currently engaged to marry my wonderful Beyonce, we did a whisper challenge if you want to go check that um, video out. So, what do I think more about? Can't stop thinking about it. It's my wedding day, which is almost less than a month away. I'm getting married on September 23rd, and I'm so excited. And yes, I can't wait. So, that is something I think about every single day walking down the aisle with my wife dress and just being a wife and yeah so that was the five questions if you like more videos like these let me know down in the comment section down below and i will gladly do another question and answer video for you guys where you can ask me anything like my my hobbies my what i do and etc 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 just let me know down in the comment section down below Go to my Instagram page and let me know. I will link everything down below for you guys. And thank you so much for watching this video. If you liked it, remember to give it a massive thumbs up and hit the subscribe button. And don't forget to go to Sean Marie's YouTube channel as well. Um, thank you again for your love and support for my channel. And hopefully by next week, I will have 100 subscribers. Yay! And I will see you next time when I upload again.